Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Season 3, Episode 9 of the Giron de Bordeaux Career Mode here. Big game coming up against Celtic in round of 16 of the UEFA Conference League. Our first trophy that we could be, that we could be getting this year. I think with the team we have, we really should be winning the whole thing. Uh, Celtic, bit of a bogey team. You never know. They can put in a really strong display. There's the team. Very strong. Everything's looking good. Um, last episode, a four, sorry, off camera, um, between last episode and now, 4-2 loss to Le Havre in the cup, we conceded two goals in extra time with the B team, and then a 2-0 win versus Lille in the league, so we'll play the two Celtic games, and then Sim, Metz, and Lorient, or whatever that team was, but then Stade Rene and Olympique Lyon will be big games next episode, as well as hopefully two more Conference League games after we beat, um, Celtic. So we're going to jump straight into this one. Uh, we'll go with a bit of a rotated team here. Um, and actually, we'll change it a little bit more. Pembele at right wing over Ellis. Baptiste Lenartz starting, uh, as well as Dahoud starting. And we'll also give the new guy, Zerwal. All eyes on one man. It's been confirmed. He'll retire at the end of the campaign. The action is next on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And we have action from the knockout stages of the Europa Conference League to bring you. It's Girondin de Bordeaux up against Celtic. Well Derek, I think the instruction from both coaches will be simple. Don't take risks when playing out from the back, defend well all over the pitch and don't concede early on. But it should be competitive. So Celtics lineup: Michael Johnson up top with Giacomakis and Quinones, Mustafa Name, Ismail Asoro, and Callum McGregor make up the midfield, with Bo uh, Julian Scales, Juranovic, and Bowling goalie with Connor Hazard in goal. A strong bench. They're not. They don't seem to be playing a full strength team against us, which is interesting. Um, but I don't mind it. So we jump into the tenth minute here. Juranovic. Has the ball, he'll give it back to Soro. Now here's Quinones. Celtic doing well to keep possession here. Quinones has space. Oh, he somehow gets past one. Gets was on the great save, but it's fallen right to him. A lucky bounce. And Celtic take the opener away from home in France. Giacomacus ecstatic to score the opener for Celtic in this knockout round action here. He just slides right past Kakashi. Good pass in. Great save on the first one, but then no defenders are there, leaving Leka completely on his own. We trail 1-0 as we head to the 21st minute here for our second highlight of the day. Putting on some good pressure. Pembele wins it. Unlucky to lose it. Julien keeps it back to Hazard. He's forced to clear it away. And we win the header, but it goes straight to Juranovic. Now here's Soro. Up to Giacomakis. The Greek. Great challenge by our center midfielder Rachic. And now Campos can find Lenartz. He's in. We've got Pembele making a run towards the back post. We'll send it to him. Can he get there? It was a tough angle, but Timothy Pembele has scored. He doesn't score often, but he could be a good option on that right wing if Albert Ellis continues to underperform. A great goal. Great team goal. We win the ball back. Quick transition. Good ball all the way to the back post. Baptiste Lenard's a beautiful assistant by Belay, a great finish. 
Uh, Baptiste Lenart actually has already peaked at 75 potential, but he has the team player trait, so he will stay on the team as a good depth option for the whole series, hopefully. Rachic and Zerwal working away. Zerwal gets it, finds Pembele now. We can look for the runs here. Again, this is Campos wide open, lots of space on the wings here. He'll cut away from goal, looking to Hood, top of the box, wide open. That is how you break down a quality defense right there. Making him look like Sunday League defenders. Look at that. A great pass. Away from goal. And then where is the man to mark to Hood? Nowhere to be seen. And again, I would I would call that offsides because again the striker completely interfering with um with the goalkeeper's vision. But hey, you know, I genuinely don't mind at all. Um We'll take a goal we lead two one here at home. Great comeback. As Quinones has run right through our defense. No one putting any pressure on him. Now here's Juranovic. Back to Quinones. It will go out for a Celtic throw in here. He's trying to cover all the options here. So now here's Juranovic. Soro. Oh, no one's marking him. Soro has gone right through the whole defense. And who is the Sunday League defense now? Karma at its finest here. Soro has just danced right through the defense. It's like we're at war. We just gave the enemy the direct route to our capital city. It's a terrible, terrible error on defense. Just no one's there. Todibo realizes too late. Tries to get a challenge in. Placed well beyond Leka. And just as we went up 2-1, we're pegged back 2-2. A great, great affair so far here. Four goals in 40 minutes. Exciting football. And Pambele will try to get the quick restart again. Sends his man into the dust. Pembele now here's Adley in the box. He goes down. Is it a penalty? The answer is yes. I didn't think that was in the box, but the referee did. Is Rachic our Rachic will take the pen, it appears. I don't think I have anybody else. Oh, 83 power. I'm smashing this right down the middle. Here we go. Down the middle. Oh, it's a phenomenal save by Hazard. Either that or it hit the bar. I'm not sure which. Well, that's that's incredible. So close, so close. But here is Baptiste Lenartz now driving down the wing. We'll try and get something going here. We can't, and it's just gonna be cleared away by Hazard. Now here is Pembele. He'll give it out wide. Adley, one touch, two touches a goal. You seen Adley, Mr. Reliable. He he just simply doesn't miss. Brought down well by Dahoud. Pembele takes control, finds a good pass. Adley makes a run and a tough angle off the post. We reclaim the lead. I mean, that's a definitely a tough angle. Slots it on past the keeper. A little bit of help from the post, but we'll take what we can get. 3 2 as we head into the second half here. You see Adley just showing off the skills. <laughs> Look at that. Had to include it. It's a little bit of swazzy techers there. I'm never going to say that again. That's incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> um, here is Pembele looking for that overlapping, overlapping run of Zeruel. Again, he did it all night. Brought down. Well, Santi Campos. It's a Messi-esque goal from the Spaniard. Great overlapping run by Zeruel. Great cross. And then a touch to bring it down on his foot. And then he takes it. On his thigh to bring it down all the way. Half time volley finish. Lovely stuff from the Spaniard. We are starting to pull away from Celtic here. A two goal advantage. 65th minute. Celtic not giving up yet. Here is Jovanovic. He'll drive forward now back to Quinones. Out wide to Sora. He'll find Gregerson. He's got a lot of space here. Great save by Leca. The old. Veteran French goalkeeper showing he's still got it. What a save that is. It's going to be placed power right to the top corner. He just gets a strong left glove to it. Good save by the Frenchman. He has a couple of substitutions here for Celtic. Johnston will send this one in towards Julian. Oh, it's off the post. Now still going. Ooh, a lot of chaos in the box. Celtic have not given up yet, that's for sure. Pembele now will drive forward off the corner. Oh, it's a great ball in the box. Rochich heads it just wide of the near post. 
Out of nothing, Pembele on his left foot turns it into something. But it'll end 4-2. And we're just going to head straight into this game against FC Mets. Should be a comfortable win. Final score. 3-1, double from Campos, one from Kakashi. Dom Solanke <laughs> scores for Mets. Interesting. Former Liverpool and Bournemouth man, right? He was Liverpool because they scammed Bournemouth for like 20 mil. Something ridiculous like that. Again, a rotated side. Zerua, Soleil, Asby, Dahoud, Lenartz, and Xerxes all starting. In the 18th minute here. Ellis tries to send that cross, but it's cleared away. We win it back. Now Ellis. Oh, that's a good one, too. With Dahoud. Slots it home to the near post. Albert Ellis. Back to scoring form. This here is a nice bit of one-touch play. Off the bar by Xerxes. And that was a terrible error. And Lenartz is there to intercept the goalkeeper's pass and touch it in to an open goal. We lead 2-0 in this game. 6-2 in aggregate. It's going to be a simple win. I'm just going to sub off all of the key players here so Noel will come on Pascal Noel I'm gonna train him up to a center back and he should get like a plus six or something so I didn't know that we could do that so that's cool and then we'll bring on Vervoort let's just make sure those guys get subbed in and then we will go to the end of the game they are subbed in jump to result 2-0 6-2 in aggregate thank you for playing Celtic but you have not won the lottery. Your compensation is nothing. We head to the next round against Troy's now. Next game, match rescheduled and tournament prize money. So we got 300 grand for the next round. Thank you very much. Who are we playing next? Hoping it's no one too good. We are up against... Ooh... It's a team from Austria, I think. So it'll be a big episode next next episode. It's like Sturlum Graz or something like that. I don't know. I think they're like the third best team in Austria. After Salzburg and Rapid Vienna. I think so. But I'm not sure if they're from Austria. Either they're from Austria or Germany. They're definitely not in the Bundesliga. So I'm, I'm going to say they're from Austria. Um, first team against Troyes. Should be another easy win. It is a one-all draw held to a point we concede in the first minute and we could not recover. Hopefully we're still in third after that. Um, I think Nice was in fourth. Yes, yeah, so we're still in third in the Champions League playoff spot. But falling behind PSG now. Was that? Seven? Yeah, seven points behind PSG, but three points ahead of Nice. In fourth, youth squad monthly report. I haven't sent any scouts out because at this point, none of them are going to make it in. Although Anwar Yassin looks good. Good potential. Good left footed center back. Could use that. Abdallah El Basir, Leon Guichard, and Brahim Slimani. So yeah, good good players in there. Algeria has treated us well. This save. A lot of, a lot of good players from there. You know, we'll play this. 15th place, Stade Brestois. Um. Again, should be a win. I expect nothing less against these lower table teams. 2-1. Rachich and Campos get the job done. Rachich, he's got to be a double figure at this point. He's He's been really, really good. Which is why I, I am thinking that maybe we, we do look to cash in on him. Because he's not my favorite to use in game. He's 85 overall. Most appearances, Albert Ellis. 33. And most goals, also Albert Ellis. But Campos and Maja right behind him. And there you see... Rachik's 10 goals, 4 assists. Very impressive from the Serbian. Now we'll check out the uh, the assists here. The most assists, of course, you see now the 11 assists. He has the most in the league on. There is Rachic. 68 mil. I think I'll sell him next year if we can get 100 mil because he's just not that good. But um, great overall. So thanks for watching. Next episode's a big one, so be sure to subscribe and like the video. See you next time.